Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CalWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Friday and that means it's Tip Friday. and We're going to be talking about the Buffalo Checked Stamp. This is a background stamp. People keep seeing my creation saying, I love that plaid paper. I love that plaid paper. It's not plaid paper. It's the Buffalo Check Stamp that I've made my plaid. I'm going to tell you how I feel like you get the best results, okay? First of all, it's... It's an oversized stamp, okay? It's a background stamp. So you're going to want to take your piece of paper and you're going to want to make sure it's oversized because you want, let's see, mine, I this is just, it's what, four and a half. You can make it bigger. Four and a half by what, six? Yeah, a little over six. So I'm just going to line it up over here on one of the edges, which is awesome, on the grid. And then because it's a little longer and our magnets are so strong, I can go in on my Stamparatus I think the Stamparatus is just a must-have for this. That's my personal opinion. You can always, because what I want to do is I want to get this as bold as I want it to be, different colors. It's going to be bolder right off the bat. You may have to go once, you may go twice, you may go three times. But with the Stamparatus, I can go back as many times as I would like. So, I've just taken this. And, oh, also let me show you real quick. This stamp is made to where this is a full side, this is an open side. So you could continually, you could move this over if you wanted to do something longer and it would be repetitive, okay? We're not gonna be doing that here, but I just wanted to make you aware that was designed that way on purpose. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna do that, pick it up. Now, let me slide my Stamparatus over and down just a smidge. Let's, I'm using Night of Navy. Of course, it's going to depend on how juicy your ink pad is. And really, we need to put this under here because we get a more solid, better result. Now, because this is large, just run your fingers around it, especially on the right side where your hinges are, of course. Now see, it didn't get right there really well, so I can go back and just push on that area some more. Stamparatus is a must-have, in my opinion. Okay, so guess what? I'm going to ink it up again. And I'm going to continue to do this till I'm happy. It's so simple. Just push. It's not moving because the magnet is holding it in place. Gorgeous. Now, down here on this edge, I'm going to push a little harder. I am loving it. And I'm going to go one more time. If your ink pad is not as juicy, you may have to go more. If your ink pad is juicier than mine, you may go less. So you see what I'm saying. And I mean, I'm putting some pressure on it. I want it to be good and bold. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can go back over the same area. You can also take it, put the uh, stamp upside down, put your paper on top of it, and rub over it with a piece of copy paper on top. But you're not going to be able to go back and back and back. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tip video showing you how to use the Buffalo Check with your Stamparatus. If you do not have the Stamparatus, I cannot recommend it enough. It is a fabulous positioning tool. So, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States. I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.